video, we would like to demonstrate a few and basic troubleshooting tips regarding the tranquility monitors. Now, the first thing we'll usually connect to the patient is the patient cable. And it's very important that when preparing the patient that the electrodes are properly placed, okay? And if any shaving needs to be done on the patient, please make sure or that the, uh, you know, that the proper areas are shaved. Um, if you do notice some type of interference with your ECG waveforms, go back to your leads and ensure that the electrodes are properly uh, adhered to the patient body um, and that the um, that there's no <clears throat> nothing that could possibly be interfering uh, with the ECG signal. Now, uh, aside from the ECG, we also have the NIBP. So with the NIBP, some of the common problems that we encounter or customers encounter is that the measurements are wrong um, when it comes to a particular patient. And um, it's very important, guys, that when taking an NIBP measurement that uh, the proper patient is selected. So if you're doing an adult patient, ensure that the adult type is selected. If you're doing a child, please ensure that you select the pediatric, okay? In this case, let's do leave it at adult. Let's go ahead and press cancel. Um, and uh, as well as changing that, you also have to ensure that you are using the correct size cuff. This is an adult cuff. For a child or for a neonate, they are smaller cuffs. And if you use the, cor the incorrect cuff, you will have invalid NIBP measurements. So please be sure to use the uh, correct size cuff and also to select the correct patient type on the monitor. Uh, the following thing has to do with the SpO2 sensor. All right, now when it comes to taking or um, or putting on your uh, your SpO2 sensor, well, it would be great to not have any nail polish on the patient's nails. That can definitely interfere with the SpO2 values, um, and as well in. In correlation with the NIBP, whenever you are taking an NIBP measurement and also have the SpO2 sensor on the patient, be sure that the NIBP cuff is located or placed on the opposite hand or arm that the SpO2 sensor is on. So for example, if I place the NIBP cuff on my left arm, my SpO2 sensor on the patient should be on the right. Uh, on the right arm, on the right hand, fingers, okay? Uh, if you have them both on the same arm, just do know that your SpO2, SpO2 values or even your NIBP measurements can, um, can be invalid. The last thing that I want to uh, go over is the temperature accessory here, okay? A lot of times um, the sensor itself is actually placed, um, let's say, for example, maybe just on top of the arm, um, or uh, just in areas where the temperature value is actually not correct. So in order to get the best temperature reading, the best location for that it is actually underneath the underarm or toward the back, okay? That will ensure the best possible temperature reading for um, when it comes to using the temperature sensor. Um, all right, guys, I think this is practically it for your basic troubleshooting tips when it comes to the tranquility monitors. Uh, if you do encounter any other issues or have any other additional questions, just please feel free to reach out to Schiller America's technicians and uh, we'll be happy to assist. Thank you guys for watching.